morning. Today is going to be a very, very busy day. As if uh, 2020 hasn't thrown enough of us, we are going to round out the year where we are with some pretty hefty storms and apparently uh, some flooding, which makes our regular farm chores a little yuckier. And we've got some things we've got to do to prepare for the amount of water that uh, they are predicting that we're going to get. Uh, it's going to be fairly windy, not a whole lot we can do about that, but we've got to get through some things today. So I figured I would take you guys along while we try to cram everything into our crazy busy day today. Uh, we have um, already gotten out this morning and taken the farmer where he needs to go. Say good morning. <laughs> now we're, we're on our way home to uh, get the chores done and then off to town to go run some errands. All right, all the chickens are fed, watered. I'm filling up the water for the outside goats. And now it's time to move on to the milking. Dogs are fed. It's warm, super warm actually, <laughs> miserably warm. I do not appreciate the Texas weather. I know a lot of people that do. I'm not one of them. I hate the heat, I like the cold. So, anyways, on with the morning. Heidi, stop being mean. She's constantly standing in their food bowls. Good morning, girls. Are you ready? are fed. Goats are milked. All I got left is Mama J. All right. Well, my goal was to be back out and on the road by 10.15. Not gonna happen, because it's 10.15 right now, and I just finished my chores. But all I have to do is filter Miss Jewel's milk, and we can get on the road. Mr. Grant was kind enough whew, to take the goat's milk for me. He is on a chore hiatus because he did all of our chores while the farmer and I were on vacation. So now he's on vacation from chores. We have 13 gallons to cream separate and then get started on the butter. Goodness gracious, it's almost the end of the year. All right, time for a cup of coffee number two. Time to get moving. All right, hay ring picked up, loaded in the back of our pickup truck. Here's to hoping we don't break out the window. I did put some cardboard here. So anyways, hopefully this is okay. Thanks to Texas Gates for another fantastic hay ring. This is the second one we've purchased from these guys much higher quality than a big box store and we just prefer to spend our money locally so thank you very much to sarah and stephen at texas State. all right well we are done with all of our errands in town 
we've got to go to the appraisal office really quick and drop off some paperwork. Uh, we're gonna drive through our very favorite restaurant, pick up the best barbecue ever. Then we're gonna go home. We've got some housework to do, laundry to do, cream separating to do, and I gotta shred the front quarters of the deer meat. Gross, but we did it and nobody got hurt. All right. We are home, we've had lunch, we changed into something comfier. And now we're about to fill this big old sucker up with tons and tons of cream. All frozen. Great, if you look here, you can see the difference. This is cream, this is skim. So we are going to cream separate. <clears throat> then we're gonna put all this in our butter churn and we're gonna make a pile of butter today. Done cream separating. Here's what we've got. Bunch of empty jars, pile of lids, and three gallons of cream to make into butter. Uh, Grant dropped one of the half gallon mason jars as he was bringing it out. So we put it back in the fridge so the cream and the skim can re-separate. So there's actually a little bit more than three gallons of cream, but I won't be able to skim that off until tomorrow, which is no big deal. So. Now we make butter. from picking up the farmer. I got my butter out of the butter churn. That's all the buttermilk. So the first gallon made, I would guess, pound and a half, maybe close to two pounds. We'll see, but I gotta wash it. And then what in the world? Life of a farmer, who knows what that is? Anyways. I gotta wash it, salt it, and get it frozen. Well, here's the real pretty side of farming. My husband's shirt, ratty old, old navy sweatshirt, sweatpants, dirty tired farmer. <laughs> it has been pouring for... Today. Yeah. It is disgusting outside. It is wet and soupy and it is still raining. Yay. It's pitch black, and now it's time to go do all the chores. So he chopped up that deer meat for me because he's a champ and I didn't really want to do it because it's just a pain in the butt. Um, butter's done. This is what I still have to freeze. Made a lot. Um, this is buttermilk that will not fit in these giant buckets. <laughs> so Jeff's gonna have to take those pig buckets out and then come back and get the bowl. So I'm not gonna take you with me because it's pouring rain, but we're gonna go do all the chores and call it a day. Get a little muddy. Yay. 